The diplomat from Congo, because of its concerns, he has come here to express solidarity to, to, to this cause, what we are uh, demanding. Professor uh, Ukungu, uh, please have your say. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. First of all, I want to thank you, the President Mengal, uh, that uh, uh, invited me last time. Uh, to lead this battle uh, against uh, um, for the least, uh, against uh, the violation of uh, human rights, uh, I have to introduce myself. I'm, I'm Professor Ulojani Senkubu. I'm Professor of Universities, Professor of Faculty of Law, the system of Commonwealth, system of uh, Catholic under the Vatican and uh, the French-speaking university. I'm an international at petroleum, minerals, and energy attorney of the United Nations. I'm permanent at the United Nations. And so you know also, uh, election of uh, Secretary General was uh, held at uh, New York, and I was elected to replace uh, His Excellency uh, Antonio Guterres. And so we were, were elected, or the next, um, elected Secretary General of the United Nations. That's why I'm uh, coming here. First of all, I want to thank to thank all the people of Bangladesh. And uh, the, the first, uh, I want to thank uh, the, Her Excellency uh, She Asina, She Asina, Her Excellency She Asina, uh, among the people. Uh, support me to be elected at New York was the first was a, a woman called um, Her Excellency uh, uh, Her Excellency She Asina. She supported me a lot, and uh, I want to be grateful to her and uh, behind her all people of Bangladesh. I'm here. Uh, I'm here as a. Your Excellency Antonio Guterres and all your team at the New York and Geneva here to show you the case of a genocide of Bangladesh. We are in 1971 when the army of Pakistan, you know, came to kill our people in Bangladesh. Our people in Bangladesh and the United Nations closed the eyes of this genocide. Uh, we are in 1971, and today we are in 2022. United Nations didn't recognize yet this genocide. How we can lead the United, new United Nations if we don't make reparation of the damage that uh, the military of Pakistan make in Bangladesh. How we can make a United Nation when around the world the people are making genocide in Pakistan, Afghanistan, everywhere, but the United Nation closed their eyes. And the bureaucracy at New York, you know, close their eyes when people are dying, losing their life. I'm not the one that I came for justice. I came, I'm claiming, I'm looking for a, a United Nations. I'm looking for the Security Council, President Putin, President Macron, President Joe Biden was, uh, was, uh, was my chief at the White House. President, uh, uh, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson, and uh, the President Xi Jinping, I'm looking that uh, to play the role, the big role, so, so that uh, this genocide uh, to be recognized under, under the agreement, under the United Nations law, law recognize that uh, these uh, people of Bangladesh, men and women, children, family, was, uh, was destroyed to, to take their lives and we never will uh, sleep until United Nations recognize this 
genocide, and we need the reparation. It's not just to recognize that people lose their uh, their lives, people lose their memory, archive, lose all um, their real estate, their investment. Their, when there is war, you know, people lose everything. How are we going to repair that? That uh, as a secretary general, elected secretary general of the United Nations, I'm at the place of nation asking international community to recognize this genocide and uh, to, to make the plan to call all people of Bangladesh at uh, New York and Geneva to start to start the plan of reparation, reparation, and I thank you so much.